I had Emily June 1st, 1998, and um, in my fifth month of pregnancy, they found that she had a um, giant neck mass. We had a lot of questions when um, we first got the uh, teratoma diagnosis. It was just scary because we never heard of this before. The things that I was looking for were Down syndrome and um, the, the types of um, birth defects that you hear about. There were eight friends and family members that were pregnant at the same time as me. And um, I was the only one that had, was going to have a baby that was going to have a problem. That was the hardest part, I think, is having to, um, having to come to terms with all the things that could go wrong. But the care that we had down at Children's and all the doctors and nurses just made it really comforting for us. And um, they were really helpful and walking us through everything. I think any type of teratoma is one of the most difficult things to deal with as a prospective mother and family. One day they might seem perfectly in control, another day they might be all in tears. They come to us looking for help and they come to us looking for, for hope. It's a uh, situation that um, is extremely stressful and difficult and one that uh, you never anticipate will happen to you. So the, the good news for families is that there are places like this where there is multidisciplinary expertise that can enhance the baby's chances to survive and to survive with a good life. A teratoma is a tumor uh, that's derived from stem cells, actually, and uh, they're the type of stem cells that can turn into any tissue of the body. Imagine a tumor that can have virtually any sort of body tissue within it, yet it be in a place in the body where those tissues don't normally occur. Oftentimes they can be almost as big as the baby um, prenatally, and so it's very difficult for parents to um, even imagine what their baby might look like with that ugly mass, um, either on their neck or their butt or in their chest. Teratomas appear in the midline in unusual locations. The tailbone for a sacrococcal teratoma, the mediastinum, which is in the chest, and cervical teratomas, which are in the neck. Think of all the anomalies that we deal with on a relatively routine basis. The teratomas are probably the most difficult, challenging, and frustrating. Teratomas are quite rare. Sacrococcal teratomas are the most common tumors of newborns. The cause of teratomas is mysterious. We really don't know why they occur. In the fetal period, early neonatal period, these are non-malignant tumors. Most of the teratomas diagnosed before birth or those diagnosed in newborns are not cancerous yet, but invariably if they are not dealt with, uh, cancer will occur in almost all circumstances. So uh, we like to resect the tumors early and in most circumstances it's curative. 